Blessed day everyone. Welcome po sa ating daily devotions. And as we are almost done with the week, we are uh, looking at why Jesus came to uh, die on the cross. Right? So, kahapon po, we looked at the reason He came to die to provide the basis of our justification. But we talked about uh, um, forgiveness and uh, justification is more than forgiveness. Right? Yes, forgiveness is taking away our sin and guilt, but there's more that happened in justification. When you are forgiven your sin, that doesn't mean that you're not guilty. It may it mean that you're guilty and you were just forgiven. But now, justification that happened in the case of those who believe in Christ, uh, ito po nangyari. So why Jesus came to die? To complete the obedience that becomes our own righteousness. Ang galing, no? So, this is the flip side of what we discussed yesterday. Um, Philippians 2 verse 8. Being found in human form, he humbled himself by the, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So, he, Jesus, he was obedient. He, he humbled himself, put on flesh, di ba? Uh, um, he, and he was obedient even to the point of death, even death on the cross. Romans 5.19, For us by the one man's disobedience, that's talking about Adam, the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience, the second Adam, Christ, the many will be made righteous. 2 Corinthians 5.21, glorious truths. We discuss about this uh, uh, sa ating pong Good Friday service, remember? For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in Him we might become the righteousness of God. Philippians 3, 9, that having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes from or comes through faith in Christ. So, what happened on the cross? What, what, what did Jesus do when He died on the cross? Well, He just uh, completed the obedience that becomes our own righteousness. Ito po ang sali ni John Piper sa kanyang aklat na ating pinag-aaralan ngayon. Justification is not merely the cancellation of my unrighteousness. That's the half of it. It, all, it is also the imputation of Christ's righteousness to me. Di ba na-mention ko po? If you were just uh, um, forgiven and your sins were taken away, then you would just be neutral. Neutral will not give you entry to the kingdom of God. Righteousness does. And so whose righteousness are we referring to here? That would be enough. That would be sufficient for us to be allowed entry to the kingdom of God. Christ's own righteousness. I do not have a righteousness that commends me to God. My claim before God is this, not having a righteousness of my own, sabi ni Pablo, that comes from the law. I, we cannot say that we are righteous and that righteousness coming from the law, even if you uh, uh, fulfill all the law, which is actually very impossible. But just, just in case you fulfill the law, it, it still wouldn't be enough. Kasi alam natin, uh, um, our righteousness is just but filthy rags but that which comes through faith in Christ. Sa panampatay ay Kristo, galing sa Kanya, mula sa Kanyang sariling katwiran. This is Christ's righteousness. It is imputed to me. Itinuray na atin. That's what justification meant. You were forgiven of your sins and um, you were given Christ's righteousness. It was reckoned as yours. That means Christ fulfilled all righteousness perfectly. And then that righteousness was reckoned to be mine. Itinuring na sa akin, sa iyo, kung kay, kayo po yung mananampaltaya kay Kristo, when I trusted in Him, I was counted righteous. A wretched, now righteous, a sinner, now saint. God looked on Christ's perfect righteousness and He declared me to be righteous with the righteousness of Christ. 
So there are two reasons why it is not abominable. Na hindi siya karumal dumal. Hindi ka gulat gulat for God to justify the ungodly as we read in Romans 4, 5. Una una, the death of Christ paid the debt of my unrighteousness. Ang kamatayan ni Kristo binayara ng ating uh, um, kasalanan. Second, yung obedience ni Kristo and the perfect obedience of Christ provided the righteousness we needed to be justified in God's court. The demands of God for entrance into eternal life are not merely that our unrighteousness be cancelled. Hindi po pwedeng cancelled lang. But we ought to have perfect righteousness. And that comes from Christ. The suffering and death of Christ is the basis of both. Forgiven of sins, reckoned as righteous. Yung tapos ng ginawa ni Kristo, doon ang galing. Ito ang uh, pinagmulang, ito ang batayan, ito ang sandigan ng ating pagiging matuwid sa harap ng Diyos. Pinatawad ang ating kasalanan, ipinataw sa atin ang kanyang katwiran. This is the basis of our justification. We were forgiven of our sins, we were reckoned as righteous because of the righteousness of Christ. His suffering is the suffering that our unrighteousness deserved. Sabi ni Isaiah, di ba? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. But his suffering and death were also the climax, the completion of the obedience that became the basis of our justification. Sabi ni Philippians 2, di ba? He was obedient, obedient even to the point of death even death on the cross his death was the pinnacle was the climax was the the peak right of his obedience this is what the bible refers to when it says by one man's obedience christ the many those who believe in him will be made righteous therefore christ's death became the basis of our pardon in our perfection. Ang galing, no? Ang uh, sapat at ganap na kamatayan ni Kristo, ang batayan, ang pinagsimulan, ang pinanggagalingan ng ating kapatawaran at ng ating katwiran of our pardon and our perfection. For our sake, Second Corinthians 5.21, God made him to be sin who knew no sin so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. What does it mean that God made the sinless Christ to be sin? It means our sin was imputed to Him. Double imputation. Ang ating kasalanan tinuring na Kanya. Ang Kanyang katwiran tinuring na atin. He knew no sin. He was perfect. Right? And thus, He became our pardon. And what does it mean that we who are sinners became the righteousness of God in Christ? Similarly, it means Righteousness ni Cristo inimputes sa atin, therefore, it became our perfection. Then, sabi ni John Piper, May Christ be honored for His whole achievement in suffering and dying. Again, there are only two, if you will, religions in the world. The religion of human achievement and the religion of divine accomplishment. Human achievement, we try to earn salvation. We try to do good, but we will never be that good. Divine accomplishment is that God and God alone accomplished everything. It is through the sacrificial, substitutionary death of Christ that we were granted pardon. It is through that same sacrifice that we uh, um, were imputed perfection. Kanyang kapatawaran, ang kanyang katwiran. Both the work of pardoning our sin and the work of providing our righteousness was achieved, were achieved on the cross. Let us admire Him, sabi ni John Piper. And in fact, let us worship Him. Let us treasure Him. Let's trust Him for this great accomplishment, for this great achievement. Let's boast in Christ, right? And more than that, I pray that we would live for Him. Maraming salamat sa Panginoon Diyos sa Napaka uh, um, malalim, uh, mayaman na katotohanan na ito na ginawa ni Kristo Jesus. Pinatawad tayo, 
pinaging matuwid tayo. Binigyan tayo ng uh, um, kapatawaran, iginawad sa atin ang kanyang katwiran. Right? So, why Jesus came today to die? To uh, provide the basis for our forgiveness and to um, complete the obedience that becomes our own righteousness. Manalangin po tayo. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that we can reflect still continuously on this truth. Alam po namin minsan at uh, madalas ang pag-iisip ng ganito ay naka-confine lamang po sa mahal na araw. May it never be, Lord, that we would not uh, be reflecting on this. Sabi po ni Pablo, I determined to know nothing among you but Christ and Him who's crucified. This is the most important of all uh, Christian doctrines, Lord, because in this truth revolves around other wonderful truths. Kung kaya dalangin po namin, Panginoon Diyos, habang kayo po ay natututo sa biyaya po ninyo, as we uh, devote time to just uh, be in your word, dalangin po namin, Panginoon Diyos, na makita namin, patunghayan namin ang katotohanan na napakalaki po ng ayon pong um, utang na loob. We are indebted to you, Lord. We can never repay you. And the, the, the most that we can do, Lord, and the, the least, actually, that we can do, Lord, is to live our lives for you. Thank you, Lord, for these truths. And dalangin po namin ay ang katotohanan ito magbago ng ayon pong convictions and magbago po ng aming um, panaw at uh, pagtingin sa lahat ng bagay especially now in this uh, trying times. Pagpalaan niyo po ang buong araw. We pray that you would help us uh, be a blessing to those who you send our way. Sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. God bless you po and I'll see you all tomorrow for our weekend. Ingat po kayo.